it seems like Stellar Blade just can't get away from controversy. If you haven't heard, they had racist accusations after the review embargo was lifted and you had multiple journalists attacking the game saying it has some racist connotations with a hard R graffiti on the wall. Of course, they patched that up and updated that and now they have a new slew of controversies, whether it's getting review bombed by critics or it's being accused of censorship again of some of the outfits. I'm going to go through all the controversies. I'm going to say this is not necessarily something you can blame woke for, at least some of the censorship issues that we're seeing nowadays. And I'll explain that later in the video that this may be attributed to a lot of Christian conservative values and the rating systems that were established in the 90s when it comes to video games. And I can see this as a way that they are adhering to that system because they don't want to be rated as an adult game. And I think that's the essential thing that we're seeing here. But when we look at the overall situation for Stellar Blade, it's a game that's being attacked on all sides, whether it's the conservative or woke movement or just plain social progressive activism that is attacking this game. And I think overall it is achieving something that no other game in the video game industry can do and putting out a good quality game that is trying to balance the, the aesthetics and appeal of the gamers and balancing the, the overall politicization that we're seeing in the video game industry. And I think it does it so well where it is ignoring some of the political and social issues and it's doing this in favor of the gamer. I think that's where it's getting that appeal and celebration. But of course, the critics are going to hate the game. Even though it has a solid 82 Metacritic score, I think it comes at a price of even the positive reviews criticizing the game for its overall sexualization of the Eve character and you can see this attributed throughout all the reviews even good or bad where they're just saying yeah it's a fun game but Eve is too sexualized she's too idealized she's too beautiful it's distracting she has no personality and this is an old school version of video gaming that we don't need anymore we need less style over substance and beauty over brains and this is uh, the gamers review games radar saying either tune out or embrace the odd sexual veneer and it goes on player two saying discussion is sure to be dominated by sexualization of the character eve and it's just overall ignorance of anything related to the game they go into their social political progressive talking points because they're more of political activists than activists actually games journalists. I think that's what we're seeing with the reaction from reviews where it is being review bombed by people that are ignoring the game itself and mostly want to talk their social political activist talking points and not even really diving deep into the game. I think of course we know a lot of games journalists don't even play the game so I think they probably played an hour or two and then they just started complaining about the things that they dislike about the game and you have other people that did play the game and they only did that because they want to see a fault in the game so they can attack the game and I think that's the result we're getting with the whole situation where they're being accused of racism where we had a journalist just playing the game specifically to find something at fault where they can attack the game and have Sony change it in some way so they can say see you need the cultural sensitivity consultancy firms like Sweet Baby Inc to help you make these games or you're going to be accused of racism see it's trending everyone thinks you're racist now and I think that is the situation we're having with games journalists where they're trying to attack this game so they can have their solution on hand like Sweet Baby Inc, like Gamer X, like Hit Detection, these consultancy firms that come in and effectively bankrupt your studio with their terrible ideas because they in general hate games. And I think that is the essential thing we're having where journalists are working with these consultancy firms trying to show a reason why you need them and I think that is in fact the situation we're here with a coordinated attack to take down Stellar Blade and Stellar Blade is being attacked on all levels and of course I go back to the rating system the US ESRB system which is restraining some of the outfits people are complaining about that are being censored and of course you see some of the outfits are already pretty graphic and appealing and I think they have that male gaze focus and the, the appeal is there these are uncensored outfits here but we have a few censored outfits that seem to be causing controversy for a lot of people and I have to say 
these are substantial censorship lengths that they did go to here where they changed the bunny suit costume put more clothing to, to cover up of the body and i think this is more in relation to esrb ratings that are going to rate this adult rather than mature and i think that is why they did this overall modification they have more examples here where she had less coverings for this example right here and i think you can see the differences between these two pieces of clothing and i think this comes down to the esrb ratings that can label and maybe maybe cover up your games in a video game store where it's too adult themed to, to be even shown you have to go to the the register to actually get the game and i think you can see that mature 17 and adult 18 is a big difference the, the game is treated completely different if it has that adult rating and that's why i say you can't really blame woke for the situation this is more of the 1990s christian conservative movements that made the standard that is still being used today and i think that is the thing that is restricting the game from having some of these outfits that we all saw in the trailer we saw some leaks of and i think they're getting around this at least shift up by putting this in the new game plus patch where it's not with the release of the game so it can be seen in the covers of stores it can't be hidden or anything like that behind some sort of adult block that is going to shield uh, young uh, young adults from seeing this content so i think that is the thing that they're playing with that shift up the the old conservative christian system that was established before the woke took over so you have both of these kind of mindsets of restriction and conservatism whether it's the, the social progressive mindset or the the christian conservative mindset that are restricting this game and i think this is korea and shift up trying to balance and trying to find a way in between these restrictive systems that are trying to tear apart this game and i think they did an overall good job by saying okay we're gonna cover up the release copy of this game and we're gonna adjust it with the new game plus patch where it cannot be relabeled or re-rated as adult anymore because this is just a patch that has nothing to do with uh, the initial release of the game and i think that that is their intelligent way of going about circumventing the overall system of the ESRB rating system. And I think this is just a, a small blip. I know people are still mad at this, but I think this is them trying to navigate through the American legal system and, and the rating system. And I think this is their way of doing it. So I don't th say you should blame them. You shouldn't even really blame entirely the woke movement. This is mostly old conservative values movements from the 90s that are affecting this because they had the hold of the ESRB ratings. And I think this is them kind of dodging that with their own kind of smart and perceptive way of doing it but so far there's a lot of talk about stellar blade stellar blade is doing amazing at least conversation wise and so much controversy is coming out with this game but i think it's just going to add to the appeal and just overall interest in purchasing this game and experiencing it and i think that is the thing people are loving about so far so much cu customizations different looks and, and styles for eve and of course the gameplay looks amazing so everyone's hyped about this game i think some of the controversies we're hearing is a bit overblown but overall i think the censorship is something that is unavoidable in america because you have so much restrictive policies from the past and then you have the the current day restrictive mindsets of the present where people are just trying to shield or remove these games from existence and i think stellar blade is doing its best to navigate this system that is so restrictive in america and i think they did a good enough job with adding some of these things into the new game plus where the rating can't go up anymore it stays at m and it can't go to adult because this is not actually part of the game yet and i think this is their smart way of doing it and i think people should calm down and just give stellar blade a chance i think everything will be fine in the end but you leave your comments tell me what you think about the censorship situation with stellar blade i think it's interesting that this is the case but overall it's still getting review bomb people are still disliking that this game is doing the impossible which is making a game appeal to the majority of gamers and I, I like what it's done and i think we should support it but you tell me your thoughts tell me if you think this is censorship or you think they're navigating the legal system when it comes to esrb ratings i think that's the case but if you disagree leave a comment like share and subscribe this is wagner knows why catch you next time